Yesterday, Jack Dorsey and Square announced that they are going to be changing the name of their company. It will no longer be called Square. It will now be called Block. Now, this reportedly has been in the works for more than a year. Obviously, we saw Facebook change their name to Meta recently. So people were saying, are they just copying them? No, they have been working on this for quite a while. They feel like the name Square isn't totally descriptive of what they do today. And so the idea is that Jack Dorsey, along with a number of other people, founded Square in 2009 to focus on in-person payments. And they had that little dongle, that little card reader, where you basically plugged it into an iPhone, then you could swipe a credit card. At the time, it made a ton of sense. Square, it was a Square reader. But they obviously now have come and done a ton more things. They have all kinds of digital banking apps. They have all sorts of other things like Afterpay, which is a buy now, pay later service. They even acquired Title, the music application as well. So it's not just for in-person payments anymore. This is a company with a very, very large product suite. And so if you go and you actually go through all the different companies that are under this new name Block, it's kind of like a holding company. They have Square itself. They have Cash App. They have Spiral which uh, Spiral BTC, which is their Bitcoin focused entity. They have Title, which is music. They have TBD 54566975, which is focusing on some Bitcoin stuff as well. And then they obviously have Afterpay on top of it. And so we've got this quote here. This is part of the statement from Block. It says, the name has many associated meetings for the company, talking about Block specifically. It says, building blocks, neighborhood blocks, and their local businesses. Communities coming together at block parties full of music, a blockchain, a section of code, and obstacles to overcome. Now, this is a trend that we're continuing to see is companies, as they become more and more mature, are saying to themselves, maybe our name doesn't actually fit what we were intending to do in the beginning. We've seen Facebook obviously become Meta. We've seen Google become Alphabet. And now we've seen Square become Block. Do we like the new name or do we feel like uh, it doesn't make a ton of sense? I like it. Why not? I mean, Square had some kind of brand value, so I thought it was a little surprising that they did this. Uh, and the statement was a little interesting, like, you know, block stands for building blocks at your community. And all that. I was like, okay, well, I think we know where you're going with this. Uh, but yeah, I think it's cool. I mean, obviously, the feeling that this uh, gives off is that Square is going to focus a lot more on the blockchain side of things. And now that Jack has more time and is going to be spending more time on Square or block specifically, uh, I think that's a good sign. John? I like it. I like what Jack's doing. He left Twitter. He is now going full-time into Square, Block, all these companies. Obviously, it does kind of lead to you're focusing on blockchain, Bitcoin, all the things that he's been working on. Square has, they bought what? They bought 50 million Bitcoin in October, 170 million earlier this year worth of Bitcoin. So they obviously hold a lot. Yeah, I mean, Square, like, it doesn't really matter, does it? Like, Square is still Square. It's similar to what Facebook is doing there. They have the same company trajectory and what they're focusing on in their company, but they're just making that known through their actual holding company's name. I don't think it really matters in the grand scheme of things for Square or any of the other companies that are subsidiaries of it. Can I uh, tell you, if I put my conspiracy theory hat on, a wild idea that I had this morning? I have no inside knowledge of this whatsoever. I know nothing about uh, what I'm about to say, Right. How crazy would it be? David Marcus, who was running Facebook Financial, F2, he just left. How crazy would it be if he went to what is now Block and somehow uh, was running one of these divisions or was an executive at the company? I wouldn't be surprised Former president of PayPal, ran Facebook Financial. We know that he's very into Bitcoin. He's been on uh, the podcast before and, and talked about it. Uh, believes a lot in this technology. For, Looks like a free agent. Looks like Jack's going all in on Bitcoin uh, and some of these technologies. It'd be pretty cool to see that happen, right? Are they friends? I'm sure they know each other. Yeah. Right? You know, and and look, uh, David, uh, one, obviously is uh, incredibly intelligent, hardworking, very successful in a number of different roles now. Uh, but he is a payments expert, right? And I put it in air quotes because I don't know if anyone's actually an expert in anything. But uh, he was at PayPal as the president. He then came over uh, to Facebook, was doing Messenger, then was doing Facebook Financial, uh, was very heavily involved in uh, the launch of Libra, Diem, the wallet. I mean, he's been thinking about these technologies. He's an early investor in Bitcoin. Uh, if you read the book, Digital Gold, he's right there in, in uh, the book in terms of the early days of Bitcoin, uh, um, understanding the value of it. Uh, and now you see Square continue to go further and further into the space. Like, wouldn't be surprised me to see him uh, potentially uh, at least have a conversation about joining. Is Novi his new company that he's going? No, that to? that was the f- part that of was, Facebook. Yeah, that, that was, was, that was Facebook's Facebook financial. Yeah. So the idea would be, you know, is there something there to be done uh, in terms of David uh, going full on into Bitcoin? Like that could be interesting. I think so. I mean, I don't know. I I, 
I wasn't super shocked that he left, to be honest, because it looked like Facebook wasn't making a ton of progress. They already rolled out some products that obviously didn't go as well as they assumed that they would or expected that they would. Uh, so it wasn't really surprising to see him leave. He's obviously an intelligent guy that's done a lot of good things in the payment structure uh, kind of business. So if he can feel if he feels like he can make a greater impact at an organization like Block or in one of their one of their kind of silos of, uh, you know, Bitcoin or, or blockchain payment services, then it wouldn't be surprising at all to see him go there. I think that's right.